Hi, parents. Um, wanted to uh, to make a little video this week about something which I, I think is very important that I think most parents know inherently isn't good for their child, uh, but that there isn't a lot of information out there yet, um, or the information is inconclusive, and so parents really aren't sure where they should set the limits, right? And I think. I know this because I get this question all the time from parents, and that is, how much technology should my tiny child be exposed to? You know, at what point does technology become uh, dangerous or harmful to my child's development and growth? And of course, this is a difficult uh, question to answer precisely, right? Each and every child is different and has their own genetic makeup and, and uh, different uh, developmental uh, you know, uh, speeds. And so the question becomes, you know, how much technology should my child be exposed to? And, you know, there was an interesting article, a uh, scientific article that came out, I believe from the University of Toronto last year, that talked about, uh, they, they tracked 900 children, right, between the ages of six months and two years, and tracked their technology use. And what they found was that for every 30 minutes, right, for every additional 30 minutes that that child spent on a tablet device, right, or in front of a screen, their expressive language uh, decreased, okay? So basically, what, what this study found exactly was that for every 30 more minutes of screen time the child had, that they were 49% more likely to have an expressive speech delay. Okay, so it, you know, tracking 900 children, I mean, that's a, that's a large amount. So it gives a pretty, you know, strong evidence that we need to be very careful about how much time a young child is spending in front uh, of, a, in front of a screen. Uh, you know, the other thing is that, you know, sometimes what I hear is uh, I'm told, oh, well, there are now so many educational apps and things like that. Well, you know, Dr. Patricia Cool, who's at the University of Washington, did some interesting research where she compared how much do young children learn from adults as compared to screens. And she set up a very easy kind of simple piece of research where she had adults teaching a young baby and child one-on-one. -on -one. And then they had uh, an adult teaching the exact same thing in the same way, but on a screen. And guess what? The, the children who learned directly from the adult learned more. Okay, so basically it just showed that the screen itself acts almost as a learning barrier. Okay, it, even though the screen might attract the child's attention, that the amount of information they are gaining in front of the screen is not as much as they would get from an adult one-on-one, -on -one, right? And my grandfather, Glenn Doman, knew this inherently, even though he came from a time before screens were even available in a household. Of course, he saw it uh, more and more as, as he aged, uh, but he didn't grow up in a household where screens were uh, existed. Uh, he knew that there was no teacher better for a child than their parents and that those first years of life are the most important when it comes to a child's development. And so inherently a parent is the child's most important teacher because the, the child during those early years of life is taking in all the information from their home and from their parents. And so it's very important for parents to use that time uh, as best as possible to stimulate the child and especially their uh, intellectual curiosity and their ability. Uh, so uh, it, I think that you know more and more evidence is coming out showing that screens are not a, a good educational tool for young children, right? For for older children and for adults, they might be it might be wonderful, right? Uh, I know I did uh, took many university courses online, for example, very convenient. And I loved it. Uh, but for young children, best one-on-one. -on -one, and best, if possible, to minimize it, right? Even the American Academy of Pediatrics, which is a pretty conservative organization, uh, says you know that children under the age of two really should not be spending time in front of screens. And I, I think that, yeah, during those early years, best to, to limit 
a, a, a child's time. You know, I walked into a restaurant uh, just a couple months ago, and there were many people wa waiting. It was a busy, popular restaurant, and there were probably six or seven families waiting for a table. And I looked down and I saw every child had a cell phone in their hands and they were playing on it. And I just realized this, this is a real issue, right? This could become a real societal concern. Uh, and, you know, keep in mind that uh, even though we think of, um, you know, we've had cell phones for some time, you know, it, I think in 2010, only 10% of children under the age of two uh, had opportunity to, uh, you know, play on a mobile device. Now it's nearly 50%. It's nearly one in two children under the age of two has use of a mobile device. So I, I think that my, my message to parents out there is to limit it as much as possible. And during those early years of life, maybe just eliminate it, right? Your child is not going to miss out on anything, right? Children learn so quickly. Even if you wait until three, four, five, six of years of age to allow your child to start using these devices, and even then ext in extremely limited amounts of time, I usually say don't go past 30 minutes in a day ever, um, they will learn how to use them so quickly. Your child's not going to lose anything from not using these devices. And in fact, there's a ton to gain from, from them not using them. Okay, so I, I hope that this has been helpful. I'd be interested in hearing about some of your experiences with your children using technology and especially smartphones, mobile devices, um, tablet devices, seeing what you feel you've noticed with your children um, and uh, you know what your perspective is as a parent and these devices just being so prevalent now in today's society. Okay, it was nice talking to you. Talk to you soon.